This video recaps Eddie's thoughts on adapting to and managing culture. Our business is about people. It's just about people. Um, if you've got the right people, then you'll always you'll always win. And and one of the first uh, functions we set up was our HR function, um, and and that was the same actually in in Airtricity as well. Um, and, and I believe in that, and then you have to motivate these people well, to select the right ones, um, and then motivate them, and then you know keep them interested, give them tough targets, but all the time do performance reviews, and you know keep everybody uh, going forward. What so different cultures is the is the real interesting bit, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know when you, you know, how do you cope with a different culture? Human beings are all the same, but, but they're vastly different in culture. Um, you know, the assumptions that an American makes, the assumptions that a Chilean makes, the assumptions that a South African makes, and the assumptions that an Irishman makes, are completely different. And it's been going on for hundreds of years, so you, you know, it, it's, it's very hard to know how, how do you uh, talk to people like this, how do you actually build plant on their land. And so, you know, we've, we use anthropologists in Chile, for instance, to help us with the Mapucho people down there. And, and I read a lot of history when we go into a new country. I always like to read the history and see what happened. And, but you know, you have to kind of live there. And if you don't speak the language, which I don't, unfortunately, you miss a huge amount of the culture. So that, that's probably the most difficult thing is coping with the, these and cultures. To me, ethics in business makes a huge amount of sense. Uh, and we put an awful store in our company on, on a set of values where, you know, when you set up a company, you're trying to create something that's that's going to last beyond, if you like, the, the, the current set of leaders. So what you try and do is get people to buy into a set of values like respect. We talked about cultures earlier on. Mm -hmm. Cultures are, are so different. But you, so you have to respect these cultures. And then, you know, we're, we're, we're entrepreneurial and we're innovative. We, 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 we do copy sometimes, but we prefer not to copy. We prefer to invent the future as, uh, as you see it. Um, and that's a value in the company. So you, you, you praise and you select people. We, we talk to our people eight times uh, every year by, you know, by the video conference thing. And we select a person at the moment all the time. And, and, and they've exhibited some of these values. For instance, safety is our top value. We begin all, all our meetings with safety. And, and in South Africa, where we'd be recruiting uh, thousands of people to work on a wind farm, uh, who never worked before. And we've had recently we passed 1.5 million uh, man hours with no lost time incidents uh, in 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 a far one farm in South Africa and, and in, in a million man hours in another farm, uh, and that is that doesn't happen by accident. Yeah. You know there could be there could be 20 people dead easily there, and 40 years ago there would have been. These things are all manageable, and and so is culture manageable. It takes a long time to to establish culture. They say seven years. But if you do that, then you have a set, you agree about certain things. So there shouldn't be any argument about, about things. You know, in, in, in business, one of the, the key destroyers of, of, of things is, you know, people debating things endlessly and not having any set of basic things they agree on. So we, we just talk about these values all the time. And, and everybody and understands them in the organization. Well, we try and explain them. I don't know whether everybody yeah. understands them all the time. You know, like, I mean, I have a great understanding. <laughs> like this pair of eyes looking out of 160 looking in, I don't know, but, but, but you know, we talk about it. Oh. <laughs>